What's up everybody, John Anthony here. Today we're gonna to watch hidden camera footage of me getting 75 different phone numbers from different women with a wingman, okay? You're gonna see every single phone number close and you're gonna hear the audio and you're gonna see the video of each one of these happening. I know it sounds too good to be true, but we kind of made this a personal challenge. How many fucking phone numbers can we get in a couple hours, okay? And the reason that we wanted to make this video is because we saw a lot of other companies, a lot of other dating coaches putting out videos kind of glorifying like, look at this long interaction, we finally got the number, like hurrah, right? But we have a quick, easy and effective system that's also structured for getting phone numbers. Now we'll go over that with you after we watch that video clip, all right? So without further ado, roll the clip. What's your name? We saw your friend taking I'm selfies. Not. I'll take a number and I'll buy you. Okay. What's your name? 66? Fuck that shit. Let me grab your number while you're up. Okay. It's 213. 760. I was like, give me a hug and he just turned it back. Walk away. 661. I left my fucks in the crib. Holy shit. What's your name? I'll hit you up next time in LA. 66. 818? Uh, There's like 14. Yeah, let me grab your number. Are you 619? Young lady. Are you 619? Let me grab your number real quick. Okay. Alright. I love your case though. What's that? I'll text you the details. Are you 619? 916. 916. There you are, friend. Hey, what's your name? Are you 619? Yeah. 619 what? Lady. Right. Nice meeting you guys. It's rough. What is it? 808? I'm like, oh, fantastic. Alright. Thank you so much. Oh, it was That's really so awesome meeting you. Have fun, guys. Alright. You be safe too. Are you 619? 619 what? 760. I'll just send these to my parents. He says when he has sex with his girlfriend, doggy style, it connects to champ <laughs> Friend right over there, but she gave it anyways. What's your number? In months. Eight five eight. What's your number? Four two four. Things with the ice sculptures and balloons yep. and all that shit. Are you friends with this girl right here? Oh cool. Oh cool. What's your number? I like the nine one. Hi. Go young man. Can I get a picture of you with this lady's nice butt? Here we go. Wait, let's see. Let me take your number. I'll hear you up about it. Okay. Um, I'm 707. Do you want to meet after this? Um, I was getting a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> Here, get this one. 818. Um, 732. Can yeah. you tell? Do like five. Oh, right ten's, ten's too many for me. And then do one spun around. <laughs> you have my number. Yeah, I got you better text me. Yeah, Alright, we will. Sure. 909. 909. Don't cover your boots. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Do you see her thing? 818. Are you 619? Look at these moves, holy shit. What was your name? Woo! <laughs> Damn! I'm impressed. Come on, you too! Damn, what is it? No. No, no, Let me hear your number, I'll text you. Are you 619? Oh, okay. Alright, are you doing this right now? Like this? Doing it. I'm doing it. It's 773. Alright, my number? 619? 05. 619. Yeah, actually. These girls are sexy as shit. What? These girls are my new lovers. Fuck yeah. 909. 909. Here, I'll put my number in your phone. 760. She's pimping you out. Seven zero two. Seven one four. My phone is dead. I'll give you my number. 
Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna text myself. Um, hey, it's. I love you. Oops. <laughs> Now the funny part about making that video was when we were in line to go into that festival we realized that they had a big sign that said no camera equipment right and they were doing pat downs so I actually had to take the GoPro we were using a GoPro Hero camera and I had to actually put it in my pants under my balls no joke just for the for the footage so that was a fun experience now what was I doing in each of those interactions, right? Because you didn't get to see the whole interactions, but they were very short, obviously. They can't be long in order to get 75 different phone numbers in two hours. So my opener in each one of those, we call it a set in pickup or game terms, in each one of those interactions was, hi, can I meet you real quick? Usually my hand extended. Hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? Shake your hand, smile, direct eye contact. All right, so the things that I do on the open, I'm going up, squaring up with my body language, all right, looking at her directly, smiling. She makes eye contact. Hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. I'm also speaking loud enough. I'm not just like, hi, can I meet, you know, they're gonna be like, what? And they're gonna be turned off. Shake her hand. And then the next piece that I deliver immediately is I want to cement my identity as a high value guy, okay? Now, for those of you that follow the origins of game and pickup, Mystery, who wrote the book, The Mystery Method, I had this show, VH1, The Pickup Artist, he talks about cementing an identity that gives you this high value persona that imports all these characteristics about you. All right, so what I'm doing, instead of showing a girl this over the course of 10, 20, 30 minutes, okay, which I didn't have time to do because I'm just quickly getting numbers in rapid succession, is I tell her, oh, I'm a DJ at clubs X and Y. All right, now I was DJing at that time. I did DJ for multiple years before I got hardcore into all this pickup and dating stuff, but I said, I'm a DJ at clubs X and Y, okay? What does that do? It tells the girl he has an exciting life, he has access to lots of women, he has cool friends, he has lots of shit going on, his life is probably cooler than mine, right? Other people think he's high value and cool. So all that is imported in the first five seconds, all right? Usually they respond extremely positively to that. Then. I say, what are you doing later? Okay, I'm trying to find out information and set up what they call a frame, which is cementing this idea in their mind, like it's a psychology term, that's cementing this idea of you guys hanging out at a later time, all right? So I would say, what are you up to later? What are you up to after this event? Okay, if they say, I'm not sure, then I say, cool, let me text you. We're gonna be having a party after. And as I'm doing that, I'm taking out my phone, okay? which is on the counter. I'm taking out my phone and I'm saying, um, cool, I'll hit you up and maybe we can meet up. And then I go into a sales term called the decision close, okay? A decision close gives the prospect, or in this case, the girl you're interacting with, two choices, both of which comply, or in other words, go along with what you are trying to get her to do, what, what you are trying to get her to agree with. So in this particular case, I use the two most common area codes of whatever city you're in. Okay, so in this video, I was in San Diego, California. I think it was 858 and 619. Okay, so I say, cool, we can meet up later as I'm taking out my phone. Are you 619 or 858? Okay, and I, and I already have the phone out and whichever choice she picks, she's either gonna say 858 or 619 or she's gonna say it's neither one, which is rarely the case because you're in a city where everyone has these two main area codes. All right, so she says, let's say in the case where she says 858 or 619, then I say, I put in the 858 or 619, and I say, cool, what's the rest? And I hand it to her. She puts it in, I say, cool, what was your name again? Save it, and then, okay, I'm John, I'll see you later on, right? So that whole process goes really quick. I'll recap it in a second from start to finish, but let's go over the other cases when you're asking that decision close. Let's say she's like, it's neither of those. Okay, which area code is it? right? You're still in that frame assuming she's giving you the, the phone number. Note that I didn't say, hey, can I have your phone number? Or hey, like, um, you know, would you like to meet up? But there's no like, there's no giving them like a, a yes or no. And that, that's not being like manipulative or forceful. It's just kind of greasing the wheels. So you're setting the frame of you guys meeting up at a later time. Okay. So she says it's a different area code. Oh, which area code is it? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Here, uh, put in the rest. If she says, oh, I don't want to give my phone number out. You can say, oh, well, 
that's usually like a comfort objection. Like, I don't know you well enough yet. You could be a weirdo, you could be a stranger. But saying that DJ piece really helps bypass a lot of those concerns and, and objections. But if she happens to say that, you can say, oh, listen, you know, I would stay here and talk to you a whole bunch longer, but we're like on our way to meet our friends. How about I just text you a little bit and we'll try to meet up and talk more, okay? So you're trying to like kind of get past that. If she still insists like, no, no, I don't get my number out to strangers or I have a boyfriend and he's here and whatever else. Okay, nice to meet you, move on immediately. Okay, I'm not gonna stand in there and try to convince her because there's so many other girls, especially in this situation, there was just girls everywhere. Now, after that, after I um, save her phone number, then the next piece I do is call and hang up, all right? Because otherwise, the contact just gets lost in your phone, okay? Your phone isn't meant to, have, to like keep track of all the numbers you recently got. So whenever I get a phone number, whether it be in a nightclub, a bar, on the street, in a cafe, wherever it may be, I call it and I hang up, all right? And that also gives you, like you don't wait for it to ring, it's just like a quick like dial hang up. That gives you like a chronological order Okay, in, the, in this case, obviously you can't keep track of, and I didn't get all 75 because my wingman was getting some of them, but I'm not gonna remember like, oh, who was the 30th girl I talked to? <laughs> but in a, in a nightclub or bar, you can say, okay, I met like this chick that's like a student first. Okay, she's the first one in the chronological call log. Then I met this chick, she's a waitress, and I will usually store, when you're having a slightly longer interaction, I will store some kind of identifying characteristic about, about the girl. So like, Say she has like a different hair color, or say she's like really skinny or really tall or like has huge tits or whatever. I will, I will literally write like Megan, huge boobs or whatever. And then, the, and then the next day, I'm piecing together with chron, you know, chronological information and then also the descriptor, okay, and that helps me remember who she is. If you happen to be in Europe or Latin America, it's much more common to use WhatsApp, which is an alternative to SMS texting. And in that case, Everyone has a profile picture, or most people do. And then what you can do there is you see a picture of the girl, so it's much easier to remember who she is. Okay, but with this chronological call hang up, it's not just good to remember which girl is who, especially when you're getting a whole bunch of numbers, all right, which will be a problem for you as you follow my advice and listen to me helping you get to that point. Okay, maybe right now you're getting zero phone numbers or only one or two, and it's very easy. Oh, she's the only girl I talk to. Of course I remember her. You're going to be talking to a lot more and you're going to be having a lot more opportunities with a lot more hot chicks And so you need a system to keep track of that But not only does it help you remember which girl is which but it also keeps the the lead the phone number From just getting lost in your phone, right? Like if I didn't call and hang up on all those girls I wouldn't be able to access them unless I saved them as like some special keyword each time like festival or whatever and then I'm searching through the festival keywords, but that's don't rely on that do the call hang up and then you have like hard truth here's who i talk to in which order and at what at what time of the night like that's helpful to reference too like if you see like oh when you're out at a nightclub oh i see i talked to this girl at two right when the bar is closing oh yeah that's the girl i talked to on the street like right when the when the bar let out okay so um moving on from there once you get once you get the phone number you call hang up okay you, you say goodbye and then you move on to your next interaction. And, and usually that's going to be, like as soon as that interaction ends, the one where you just got the phone number, it's literally just like scanning the environment <laughs> until you see a girl above a certain threshold of attractiveness. There was like a couple that you saw in that, in that progression that would not be at our level of attractiveness. But in those cases, it was usually winging, like winging the fat friend, not to be offensive, but winging the unattractive friend <laughs> for my friend or vice versa where, you know, I was just kind of, okay, here I am, I have to talk to this girl anyways, so might as well take the phone number since we were racing against the two hours. But for the most part, most of the girls were attractive in that video. Now, when you scan the environment next, you're just gonna see the next attractive girl like a fucking robot, like literally just like, you see her and then you just go in on that, okay? And then I will, I will use this now as a recap, okay? It should be clear, because it's very simple, but here's exactly what I'm saying. Hi, here I'll pretend to the camera as a girl, okay? Hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? I'm John, nice to meet you. Um, I'm a DJ, Clubs X and Y, okay? And it's also uh, particularly relevant to mention the DJ thing in this example because it's an electronic music festival. Oh yeah, I love this kind of music, like I'm gonna try to play at the next one of these, blah, blah, and they, the chicks think that's cool. And again, it's not trying to show off or anything like that, it's just 
cementing value because we're not having time to have this long conversation. We're doing this very quick interaction. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and if the friend, here I'll, I'll bring in this part, say like the friend comes in and the friend is like, hey, we're lesbians, or like, hey, we're not talking to any guys, or hey, like, she's mine, I'm with her, or, or blah, blah, blah. All you have to do is turn to the friend, instead of getting defensive, or instead of trying to think of something clever to say, all they're looking to make sure is that you're normal. So if the friend comes in, oh, hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. Also, what's your name? I was just trying to talk to your friend. Where are you guys from, right? You just throw in some little light banter, um, blah, 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 that's cool, you guys having fun? And then if you have a wingman with you, which you usually should, you introduce him to the friend and then that friend is out of the picture. Oh, you should meet my friend, here. Okay, cool. Okay, so anyways, uh, what are you up to later, right? Now, it's just the same fucking procedure over and over and over. Now, um, when the girl like already had plans, like a bunch of these girls were going to after parties already, and obviously you can't, we couldn't meet up with all 75, all right? So a lot of them I was saying like we should meet during the week. Okay, so now that's set in the frame for a meetup in the future rather than at the end of the night, rather than after the, the festival event, okay? So the way that you can do that is you kind of tee up the activity for the date by asking, and this is another sales thing, you just basically ask like something that's gonna give you like a yes, okay? And it's gonna get what they call compliance like 90% of the time, closer to, closer to even 100% of the time if you're asking about things that most people like. So the way that you would do this, after you mention the DJ thing, and, and keep in mind, you can substitute the DJ thing with some other cool thing that shows value. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, me and my friend just got done having a, a big meeting with these people right before this where we closed a big deal on our, our business. Whatever, it, it should be something that showcases that you have cool shit going on. You don't want to just be like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, uh, I'm just like a boring accountant that just sits in an office all day. Uh, how are you guys? You know, they're going to be like, this guy's a fucking loser, right? So the way you would do it is you would say, do you like coffee? Yes. Do you like margaritas? Yes. Okay. Cool. We should meet up during the week for coffee as you're taking your phone out. Are you 619 or 858? Notice I said, cool, we should meet for the activity that she just agreed to. You like coffee? Cool, we should meet for coffee. You like margaritas? Cool, we should meet for margaritas. I don't say, would you like to meet? Okay, because that gives the, the option for the no. And I also don't say, can I have your phone number? Okay, because that gives the option for the no. It's all like a smooth, greased slide from start to finish, okay? So, do you like coffee? Yes. Okay, cool, we should meet up during the week for coffee. Are you 619 or 858? Okay, she tells you the rest, you put the phone number, cool. And you can even find out her schedule at that point too. You don't need, in this particular case, we were moving pretty fucking quick, but a lot of times you can, if you have more time, you can say, cool, when are you free during the week? Oh, this day, awesome, let's plan for this day for coffee. Okay, sounds good, right? And then that way you don't have to do all this crap over text and hope they reply over text. It's already done in the interaction. Okay, you like margaritas? Great, let's meet for margaritas during the week. There's this place I wanna check out, or there's this place I know that's really good. Okay, are you 619 or 858? And as you're extending your phone, right? It's all smooth motion, you're extending your phone. You put in the number, you set up the plans, boom, done, okay? And now you can repeat this every time you see a hot girl, whether it be on the street, the mall, the cafe, okay? And you can add in to make the interaction a little longer if you wanna build up a little more comfort to make the number a little bit more solid. You can say, so what do you do for work? I do this for work. Uh, cool, what kind of stuff do you usually do on the weekends? Okay, cool. We should meet up this weekend. Maybe we can do such and such. Do you like Marguerite? You like? So you can add in a few extra lines, but that's really it. Guys think they need to have these long conversations in order to get a girl to meet up, okay? Lots of the girls ended up being part of my life for months or even years sometimes. It was just a real quick interaction like that. That doesn't mean every single interaction needs to be really quick. I'll show you in other interactions how you can get into long makeouts and do more advanced things. But for this video, I wanted to go over the quick, structured, uh, way to get a number closed. And almost every single girl we approached, we got the number from, okay? Because with this little quick process, she's bypassing, checking your value because you're giving this identity and you're greasing the thing all the way through to getting the phone number. And then it's just your job to follow up and work the leads in order to have sex with as many of those girls as you can or whatever your goal may be. I mean, taking them on dates, whatever it is, trying to find out who could be your best girlfriend. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Expect lots more hidden camera stuff coming from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. I'm gonna be putting out four new videos a week, 
Okay? So expect a lot more hidden camera stuff where I break down what's happening start to finish and lots of value, okay? So subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. And this is John Anthony. See you guys next time.